Hi, this is going to be for Leo, and it's going to be for the second week of August 2022, and that will cover from the first through, or sorry, from the 7th through to the 14th of August 2022. Now, in the first couple of days of that second week, um, you're going to be dealing with some unexpected situations that are going to crop up, whether it be... Um, you know, a situation at work, whether it be a situation at home or with family members or friends, even a love partner, okay? Something's going to take place that's going to kind of throw you for a loop and you weren't really expecting it. So of course you weren't prepared. Now be very vigilant if you're working at a height, if you're working with a ladder, if you're working with electrical components, okay? Be very careful of getting a shock working with things like that. If you're not an electrician, then don't freaking do it. Just stay away. Let somebody who knows what they're doing take care of it. Could also talk about a fall, perhaps a fall from a height. Be very careful if you're working on a ladder, if you're working on a roof. Um, the first week it talked about you getting involved in construction or renovation to make extra money on the side, possibly with a group of friends. And I'm kind of seeing that you may, maybe this is tying into that from the first week, okay? So be very careful if indeed you're involved in any type of carpentry. Be very aware of the safety issues. If you're working at a height, make sure you're tied off. Because think of all the things that can happen as repercussions from not being vigilant with your safety. If you fall from a height, if you fall off a, a ladder, or fall off a roof, and this is a part-time job that you've taken, okay? And this is talking what it talked about in the first week of August, that you were looking at other options to make extra money. Now, maybe you took a job renovating uh, or doing roofing, okay? Uh, maybe you have experience in it. You some experience. You thought, oh, I'll make some extra money. And you're working at a height and maybe you're not really aware of the safety issues, okay? You didn't tie up. You fall off that ladder, you break your leg and you lose your first income, your first job. You're not able to work at your second job, nor are you able to work at your first job. So use your brain, okay? Use your brain. Don't jump into things you're not prepared for. Don't jump into things that you haven't planned out, okay? And be vigilant with your safety, especially in the second week. Now, now, it can also talk about a relationship, possibly a breakup of a relationship, okay? It's very sudden, very very unexpected, something that you didn't uh, foresee happening. You thought everything was going great, but perhaps this person is vying for something different in their life. They're looking for something different. They're looking for more fulfillment in a different avenue than you are, okay? And so this possibly can, can come up. This could even come up with friends maybe co-workers, friends, uh, family members, somebody is going to, maybe you're going to get into a, a confrontation with someone because you're going to question um, something that they have said or something that they have done, or maybe, maybe this person is going to question you and it's not going to go well, okay? And perhaps the situation is meant to leave your life. So, you know, as I always say, everything happens for a reason. So if there is a reason, or if this person is leaving your life, maybe the divine, maybe it's time for them to leave your life, okay? Or maybe it's time for you to leave a situation. Maybe you're being guided. Maybe that falls is is going to take you into a new career or it's going to force you to relook at some things in your life maybe your health maybe your job maybe your finances maybe your ability to save okay maybe your ability to be able to let yourself experience new things in your life maybe you are very uh, security focused and so you're letting that adventurous side of your spirit die Okay, so there could be many reasons, and I'm going to continue the reading um, and find out what this is about, but it does talk about you getting a bit of a shock. Now, it could be a good shock, too. I mean, you know, it, it's talking about a shock, but be aware of the, the connotations for perhaps a fall. Okay, from power, from a height, from whatever, working with uh, electrical products or something falling, okay, whatever. But be aware of both the good and the bad. Now, the good, now I'm kind of leaning toward the fact that this might be a good unexpected thing because um, the next card that, that comes up, actually the next two cards that come up, I'm kind of going to join them together because it's talking about you getting a communication from someone, perhaps an earth sign individual, okay? It's someone who's very grounded, someone who's very detail oriented, someone who thinks about the future, right? And it's someone who's going to give you cause for celebration. 
It's someone who's going to uh, send you information that's going to help you move to that next level of adventure or uh, guidance in your life where you're going to do something positive. We've talked about perhaps you being a little bit too security tied to where you are now and it's stopping that adventuresome uh, spirit of yours, okay? And now you're getting a communication that is inviting you to get involved in something. But this is also a communication about money. And, you know, the overall energy for the whole month of August was talking about possibly someone giving you a gift or giving you an inheritance, handing you something, maybe property, maybe money, maybe a vehicle, whatever it may be. They're going to give you something that is going to bring you more financial prowess in your life, okay? But it is a communication about money. It might even be a communication about money coming to you to go on a trip. You never know. And this communication is coming from someone who may be a male mentor, maybe an authority figure, an employer. It could be a son. It could be a boss. It could even be a father. Okay. But it's someone who's going to provide presence or guidance. Now, it could be a father, but it could also be a mother. Because when you have, in our generation now, we have families that are raised by single parents. So perhaps that mother and that father is encompassed in one person. I myself was a single parent, and so I encompassed both those uh, attributes, okay, as the father figure. So perhaps there is someone in your life, an authority figure, a parental figure, whatever it may be that is going to provide you with presence or guidance. They're going to help you in some way. They're going to provide you with some type of stipend or some type of money. Perhaps you're going through a period right now where you're having financial difficulties and this person is going to step up to the plate and say, you know what? I care enough about your future to help you out. And so they're going to give you something to help you move forward. Now, it does talk about your ability to think on a large scale and to plan for the future, but it could also talk about this individual who has thought about your future and has thought about what they could do for you to help you move into the future in a more secure way, okay? Now, it does talk about you having to assert rule over reason. Okay? And you have to think about ways to get things done as you're moving out of this second week. Because we're in the last couple of days of the second week when you're going to get this communication. Okay, So it's not going to happen at the start of the week. It is going to happen at the end of the week. So perhaps this authority figure in your life is going to hear about something that happened to you in the first two days of that second week. And as the week moves on, they're going to be able to help you in some way. Okay? But it does talk about someone having, having to step in, take charge, delegate, give direction. This might be you with the guidance from an authority figure, okay? But it does talk about you being able to achieve your goals and achievements coming in. You're going to gain popularity, prosperity, stability, respect, and you're going to re receive recognition for those things. So here we go, Leo. Things are starting to move in the direction that you want them to go. So be very vigilant. Be very careful. Sorry, I didn't realize I had. Uh, be very careful and be very vigilant uh, with your safety in that second week. But be aware that unexpected things can happen, both positive and negative. Okay, I shall see you in that third week.